my six week pregnancy update for ya. Um, this week has been the week where it's all started feeling a little bit more real. Um, I kind of got to six weeks ish and I remember turning around to Robert and I remember going, I feel fine, like I feel really weird, like I don't feel sick, I don't feel, like I just don't feel pregnant, I feel really normal, which kind of worried me a little bit. I was like, oh no, if I don't have symptoms then, like, you know, you start thinking bad things. So, um, yeah, and Robert was like, just enjoy it, like just stop worrying, it'll be fine. And like my boobs are still really, really sore and they still are, like they're just not letting up. Um, but then I think it was on exactly six weeks and four days, the morning sickness hit, like really hit. And I even, I, like one day I, just, I couldn't get out of bed. I was sick so much, like I was sick like five times through the night and then through the whole day and I didn't eat for like two days and at one point I couldn't even keep water down. It was really, really horrible. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more brighter now. I'm still like really nauseous and like we've got something garlicky in the fridge just now and I can't even go in the fridge. I can't open it. I can't even think about it because it literally just makes me want to be sick. <laughs> I feel sick just thinking about it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so yeah, morning sickness. It's great. <laughs> morning sickness that isn't actually morning sickness. It's morning, noon and night sickness. It doesn't let up. Whoever came up with morning sickness needs a slap because that is not remotely it doesn't remotely cover what it actually means and how it actually feels. So, so never mind. I'm feeling very sick, very, very, very sick, very nauseous, very gaggy, very actually being sicky. So, um, yeah, not very pleasant at the moment, to be honest. Um, I've gone off nearly all food, just everything. Everything stinks. Everything's gross. At one point, even the smell of my own skin made me want to be sick, which is really strange. I literally, I think I turned around on the sofa and I went like that, and I like smelt my arm, and I was like. Ooh. <laughs> if I can't even smell myself like I'm pretty screwed for the rest of the pregnancy if this keeps up it's really horrible really really horrible there's it's hard with people not knowing for the first 12 weeks because obviously like you're not supposed to tell anyone until you're kind of 12 weeks past because then like your miscarriage rate falls dramatically um but it's really hard because the first 12 weeks are the hardest it's when you need the most support almost and I'm, I work full time, so that's even harder, like trying to be at work and like I, my desk is here, the toilet is like miles and miles away, so trying to like get from there to there, like sneakily, just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's just really, really hard. So hopefully the morning sickness is going to let up soon, please. I But I had it for five months, so Phyla, so I'm not under any illusion that it'll go away anytime soon. I'm also still getting really bad headaches, that just adds to the fun and games. Um, still using my trusty forehead stick a lot. I did even have to resort to paracetamol the other day because I just, I couldn't shift it and I, it was making the sickness worse. And I felt really bad, but Robert was like, just take the paracetamol, it'll really help. And then I woke up the next day feeling like much brighter and much better, so that was good. Um, no cravings, because everything makes me feel sick. Um, no bump, but I'll show you in a second. And that's about it, I'm just really tired, I'm just really sick of people not knowing, like I just want people to know and it feels like such a long way. I've got um, a doctor's appointment, my first one, next week, and then our private scans next Friday as well. So that's really exciting, I'm really excited for all of that and I think if the scan goes well and we see a heartbeat, I might have to start telling people if I still feel this bad, like mainly work and then obviously like my family. But the thing is I want to do it in person, I want to like tell people in person, so... We'll see. I have a few ideas up my sleeve because I want to get Isla involved as well. So that'll be fun. And then we'll have to start thinking about an announcement video as well. Lots of fun. So yeah, just looking forward to that. Feeling a bit down because I'm sick. And also feeling just a bit down in general. I said to Robert last night in bed, I was like, I should be over the moon. I should be really happy. But I just have all these really horrible negative thoughts keep coming in my head. And like, I'm trying to control them and everything. And I am. But it's just really horrible that hormones can do this to you. God damn. Like hormones seem to ruin everything in life, like literally everything, like, but hey ho. It'll be fine, got lots of support, lots of, lots of happiness around me, so it'll be fine. But that's about it really for this update. These updates will obviously get a lot more interesting and exciting as I progress and things actually happen a little bit more. Oh, and my work trousers don't really fit, so I had to buy a new pair of work trousers. But then after the like past few days of morning sickness, I think my like stomach's gone down by like that much. So I think my trousers will probably fit again. It's all funny, I'm trying to do my bump photos every day as well. So at the moment it's like in and out, in and out, in and out because 
I'm so sick. So yeah, here's the bump. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, as always. If you haven't subscribed already and you're quite interested in following our pregnancy journey and all the other kind of jazz we get up to, then we'd love you to subscribe. But yeah, just thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.